I know it's hard to see, but those are mountain goats. Colin spotted them from up on another mountain, looking all the way across the valley. And the reason why they look so blurry and so far away is because they're very, very far away. I'm sitting in camp right now where Colin showed them to me. Look how far away we are. Modern technology, eh? Gotta love it. Got on my quad and drove about a mile closer, so now I'm about two miles from him. I was about three miles from him before. They're bedded down there. I watched him walk up there. Still two miles from them, but I'm gonna try and close the gap some more, see what we can see. Well, I rode the quad to within, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half. They're just up around the corner on that bluff up there, so it's not doable to do a hunt, but I'm gonna try and hike up this, down through this valley, and then hike up through there, and maybe get up on this ridge up here, and maybe get to video them across the valley right there, and that way hopefully I'll be under a mile and get some half-decent footage and recce them out for tomorrow, take a look at a way to get up there if the weather spoils me and stays nice. If it does, I'm going tomorrow up there, as long as there's a half-decent billy up there, and I'm pretty sure there's two nice billies up there, so let's go have a look and see if I can get closer. Can you believe that there's a bloody plane? It's gonna wreck my goats. That's too bad. Well, I'll go give it a shot and see if they scare him away. Oh, that was pretty cool, eh? Neat little owl. Oh, there's the billy goat. I climbed up onto the top of this mountain looking across at it. So we're a lot closer now. I'll wait for him to move so you know that it's a goat. See him turning around there? Now he's walking up the hill. That's a very nice billy right there, folks. Took me a little over an hour to sweat hike up here. You're not supposed to hike till you sweat, but I knew I was running out of daylight. It's already five o'clock now. It's after five, so really I better just get heading down right away. This was ugly, ugly thick in here. I can't even say if I want to go after that goat tomorrow. This was so ugly in here, but I think I'll go up the other mountain if I was gonna do it. I'll have to see what the weather's like tomorrow. Maybe I'll go up the other mountain. Is that not a beautiful creature? Man, those things are the coolest. I love Philly goats. Mountain goats are something else. Pure white, long hair, tough. They go where no animal goes up there. Except for the odd silly human that chases them. Once in a while over in the Asia, I think it is. There's tigers that go after him. But I am soaked, sweated, hair soaked, dripping. So I better head back. 
Maybe he's going to head into the sunshine. Maybe I'll take a video first to see if he walks into that sun. Yeah, he's going to walk into the sun. That's a billy goat. That's cool. Well, I got a long hike down, so I better get going. Maybe I'll give you a little insight. I'm thinking about cutting across this hill right here tomorrow. And coming in on the other side of this valley over here, instead of hiking up the valley that I hiked up onto this mountain, because that was a long way. I probably hiked a kilometer already, three quarters of a mile or more. And it was steep, ugly. You can see this is the only first open place I hit, and it isn't open. It's total buck brush. Ugly. It's thick as dog hair up here. Like I was sweating and scratched, but that's okay. I love billy goat hunting. You get up there and see something like that, and that's worth it. Well, let's hike down and see what happens. That's Billy Goat hunting for you. He's heading up to the no man's land. I stopped to take two layers off and I'm still soaking wet. <laughs> oh well, sometimes when I goat hunt it starts at minus 9 in the morning and ends up plus 34 in the afternoon in September, so I should be thankful it's October and it's a little cooler. And that I wasn't seriously going for that, so all I brought was a saw, knife, rope, water, compass, bare basics, a couple three cameras. I got two video cameras and one still camera, tripod, gun, pack, Kim Tufts, cleaning equipment, probably packing about a a miner, it's only about a 65 pound pack right now, 60 pound pack, so it's a lot lighter. Eric, I, and Jason and that will pack up 100 pound packs plus. Not too many people want to go and do this, but it's fun. Once you get up there, it sucks climbing up here, but when you get up, it's beautiful. No one comes up here. It's pretty cool. I love it. Yeah, I hiked up from down there. My quad's just around the corner down here. You can see actually, that's where I came from, was down there. My quad's up on the hill, up over there. So it'll be a little while before I get down. That's okay, it was worth it. See those billies up there, that's cool. Well, up in the snow, as thick and ugly as this is, I gotta say, Colin, you made my day. That was awesome. Just to see goats like that. I love it, man. That made my day. This sucks hiking in this stuff, but it's cool when you get up here and you see that kind of stuff, so thanks, Colin. That well, rules. I made it down from the timber, and uh, now I'm getting into all this willow buck brush. It's not too pretty to get through either. It's just a tangled mess. You just gotta make do with what you can. Some places it's six feet tall, some places it's four feet tall, some places it's 15 feet tall, so you just make do. I look for easy ways with the dead trees. But most of it's just thick and crap and you just sort of gotta go right through it. And try to, you get good at it after a while so you don't trip much. I've only tripped once today. I've been fortunate, sometimes you trip two or three times, but it's all part of it. Just sort of kick your feet through and knock it out of your way as you walk. See, it's really shallow here, so this is nice walking comparatively. Well, finished that. Now I've just got to cut across this bottom valley here. My quad's right up there. Here's my quad, so just about done. 
I was probably about a kilometer and a half up there maybe, about a mile up there because I got to about a mile and a half as the goat goes, or I mean as the crow flies, but I'm still probably five kilometers from the goat as a walking because you got to go up and down and around everything. So I probably walked about a mile just to get up there, just to get on the top of this mountain up here. That's where I went, was way up there. And over the top of that, and that's how I videoed those goats. They were up around the corner on that mountain, around the corner. That's soakers, you know, that's part of it. Get wet. Get sweat, get wet, get bent. Have fun. The big game wildlife that most people never get to see. Pretty special, it's awesome, I love it up there. Well, there's our 2011 camp. Right here is our 2004 camp, me and Mark, or Mark and I. Right up there is the goat hill. Colin spotted the goats way up there. They were actually down lower, but they've hiked to here now. <laughs>